I just ask that you mamas out there hug your babies tight tonight, please. A two-week search for a missing Mizzou student comes to a tragic end. Riley Strain was found dead this morning in a river near Nashville. Good evening, everyone. I'm Kelly Jackson. Strain disappeared on March 8th after getting kicked out of a bar. Tonight, mourners gathered for a candlelight vigil to remember their 22-year-old. Five in your side's Robert Townsend joins us from the newsroom with more on this. Robert. Kelly Riley Strain was in Nashville as part of his fraternity spring formal. Tonight, it's still unclear how or why he ended up in the river. A huge crowd of mourners gathered under a Nashville bridge Friday night. It's the same area where security cameras last captured Riley Strain on video, staggering along downtown streets after the Mizzou student was kicked out of a bar two weeks ago. Riley's incident has touched people around the world. Uh, we've had people literally from all over the world reach out to the family. The candlelight vigil also not far from the Cumberland River, where Friday morning barge workers were trying to clear debris when a body surfaced. Investigators quickly identified the body as the 22-year-old from Springfield. The clothes matched the outfit strain last war when he disappeared. Investigators say no foul play related trauma was observed on strain's body and autopsy is pending. It's been an emotional roller coaster. Thank you. Thank you for sharing our story. Strain's heartbroken mom couldn't stop sobbing during a news conference Friday afternoon. Other family members held hands. The family thanked the Nashville community, volunteers, and local and national supporters who are helping them get through this difficult time. I can't thank you enough for the support, the love, the encouragement that you've shown myself and my wife and Ryan. I just ask that you mamas out there hug your babies tight tonight, please. Tonight, the University of Missouri sent out a notice to all Mizzou students and staff encouraging anyone struggling with Strain's death to reach out to the MU Counseling Center for Help. Thanks, Robert.